and then uh, Pastor in 76 and he uh, joined the Indian Army where he won the uh, Sainya Seva Medal for Meritorious Service in Germany and Kashmir. And after uh, finishing his short service commission, he joined the Ophthalmology Department and uh, got his uh, DO and uh, MS from uh, Stanley Medical College and uh, also got his FRCS in uh, Ophthalmology, one of the earliest ones to get it from uh, when the FRCS was conducted in India. And uh, he retired as uh, the professor of uh, Ophthalmology in Coimbatore uh, Medical College and uh, he is uh, a super star teacher whose lectures are looked forward to by all the students. OTOG. Blue lights and all, they can stimulate. That's why they can go in 
from a pathway that is what we got a blue lights are notorious to stimulate your retina that too particularly in dark adaptations now what happens now the cerebral cell is given the rods are getting super sensitized because they are not inhibited and they see blue better that's why they got a blue vision is there and that's the reason for your cerebral cell when i get this pain comes in after taking what the drug for one at least one half one hour they see everything blue for me that's why you know always i used to tell our students better you want to attract someone the right time you wear a blue dress and go that's why they can attract so that you can see everyone can see the blue is a heavy attractive for them in the right time see another problem is your double vision i've seen these cases double vision problems classically must be knowing fluid in the lungs right under the eye what happens here because one is a idiosyncratic area now what happens the tendons of the muscles are so long or getting that's called tendinitis when the tendons are involved for the muscle movement is there the eyes cannot move naturally what will happen now they will have the diplopia visions that's why the problem of diplopia in the case of classically fluorocele bones be careful another thing is here now blood come like a blood tears not blood actually it's a red tears what's happening now you must have known this if i'm saying if i'm missing the bleeding for tuberculosis and the getting excreted or have tear through it naturally becomes red in color and the most important part for me for ophthalmologist i must be very careful about using contact lenses the contact lenses the soft lenses can absorb this red color and become tinted or tinged so naturally the contact lens is waste for you that's why we always think if i'm missing blood tear is there something red tear is there always you avoid contact lenses for these patients another thing i told you misty vision or blur vision nowadays they will not push for the areas they give by person is right or left and the problem here is they can develop some problem inside the eye like iris iris can be inflammations and they can have a lot of flare and all that means they increase the proteins in the aqueous the vision is affected that's what's happening by person is see now topiramate topiramate you know the drug that that drug can produce and it push a glaucoma the patient can see the halos that is a color like a rainbow halos around the lights that's the most important point for us so always whenever it's supposed to be a bit the big one for the activity or other thing is there i have to ask the patient comes to me sir i'm seeing some halos around lights i must of course apart from pulling out and push a glaucoma i have to ask for a history of drugs intake so now again so now another thing is that this was the medicine so must know that mother one all what we have seen in the placement for all and the mother you know the price is a sweet something bitter they mix with the medicine the medicines and the patient come to me and sign sir i have some flickering lights never forget the patient would have consumed siddha but is not so close that's why you have to ask for this leading question another thing is that clomiphene for the infertility now we have used so naturally clomiphene citrate can produce uh, migraine like problems like oxygen to look something like depressions you know what's happening now when the patient exposed to the light you know something uh, bright light you get the human retina and the patient comes to dark again this called after image is get from giving light sensation that's called flickering lights sometimes patient can see i told you sir i am seeing your face but the nose is not seen it's a place of central spotomas the problem is because of what maybe involved in optic nerve i know there are so many drugs which can involve optic nerve matter that's why always we ask this history a symptom symptom can give us a clue about the drug and of course i i always aware for the intake of drugs for the past at least in the last one year two years so far i told you about the symptoms now i tell you the structure of the eye which can give me a clue the problem in the eye that like connected see now connected some one bridge and now you know everyone is taking what aspirin tablets and you know if you got to put them these are all the drugs given everyone everyone is taking our for the few years but you have diabetes and all naturally you got problem is that you cannot supply very i told i told the aspirin the cause but one of the causes for this supplement may be aspirin i have to rule out that's why i have to ask for a leading question when in case of supplement is apart from blood pressure questions and all i have to ask for the history of aspirin classically at least see now on the drug yes, you know you have to do i think suresh kumar sir about fluoride and all these things that i am going to know these are the drugs which can give rise to you have to observe the cardiac this is how what you lies here these are all the lines getting deposited in the cardia which way we need to come to because what your cardia to see it has to be clear then only you can see that's the obstructive vision that's what happens in patients so when i see a cardia when i examine all these things we can easily examine the slit lamp and i'm simply i can see the depth of vision everything in the lens cardia everywhere you can see 
That is what I am going to say now. When I see a carnal relation like this, I must ask for Are you taking chloroquine? Are you taking amphetamine? Let us have to ask the leading question which can give us a clue regarding the mutual loss. Chloroquine, everyone knows that, can also produce product. See now, look at this. The classic again, I told you, if I put in bipostrates again, bipostrates and if I put in all these things can produce iritis. Inflammation of iris, which can lead on to increased proteins in the aquasumer, which can lead on to cells in the floating in the aquasumer. That's the motion is re reduced. That's what the when I see a case of iris, apart from knowing other causes, maybe tuberculosis, who knows? But apart from that, I have to look for history. That's what the history of drug intake is a must. As an ophthalmologist, I must ask. Then I got it, I have to refer him also. See, drug effect intense. See, I see lens, everyone knows in the MPB is what is cataract. But see now, when I have a strict lab examination, when I see the capsule of the optic, sorry, lens, and when depending upon where the opacity is in the lens, I know which drug would have caused the problems. I tell you, and the anterior capsule, I got six, I got a total six times that section is there. On the anterior capsule, the opacity is there, I know it's because of overpromising, bilateral, so systemic drugs. And I know under the capsule, anterior capsule, in the anterior part of lens, problem is there. I know I am dealing with a case of amidarone, or maybe anticholinesterase. Suppose I have a problem in the posterior part of the lens, I know the pressure will come in steroids or I know the pressure will come in again chloroquine. These are all the areas, just to examine the patient, I can at least come to a conclusion where is the problem and what is the problem, what is the tell you. See now, right now, everyone who has studied about chloroquine macropathies, it is called Buddhai macropathy, you would have heard about it. But the most important thing is my advice, whenever suppose you are giving chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine for a prolonged period, Maybe for rheumatoid arthritis and all, the chance is there patient may get involvement of retina. You know why? The chloroquine has got affinity for the pigment epithelium of the retina. Get accumulated there, the function is lost. And most important is when I have a chloroquine, the cumulative dose, I must know that. I recommend up 300 grams cumulative dose, but we can have bullseye macropathy, the 300 grams. But I want when the, tumor, when the dosage is increasing above 100 grams. Be careful, you must, the cumulative dose more than 100 grams, you must be referring for ophthalmologists. So we can have some tweet test and all, can do that charts, everything with the blue objects or the red objects. I can find the early problems. When I stop the drug that time, the problem can be reversed. Suppose the problem is like this, like the whole side of the can you see here, the, like this, the end is over. That means you cannot reverse it, that means the patient has already lost his vision. This is what the most important point, the chloroquine dose, that too when you give it for prolonged period, be careful. See, so, you know, other drugs like, you know, you might have studied and at least heard about dietary treatment dose are like, you send up treatments and all. There are some drugs like keratoizin, that can have treatments in the retina. So, when I see these retinase treatment dose are like lesions, I have to ask for a little question. Are you taking all the psychiatric patients? These are all the classical things. So, you know, we've got chloroprongs, they also can produce changes in the retina and the choroid. These are all the various problems I can expect. See, so, you know, macula, it's called the macula, it's called optic disc, this is called optic disc. See, so, this is the central most part. That is what you are seeing me with the macula only, not the point. When the macula is gone, you cannot see me. That means a clear clarity which is lost. That means your 6 by 6 vision is only okay for macula only just to be intact. When the macula is gone, your 6 by 6 vision is also gone. That's my idea. That you always remember now. Whenever I have got macular lesions, I must ask for like tamoxifen, canthazanthin, that is Srinivasan area. Canthazanthin, something, something technology areas. Now in interferons, classical, they can have some hot moon spots. You must know, but I've heard at least the soft x-rays. These are nothing. These are all axons of the retina. We have got, we have got an axon passing with moving along the axons. They get stopped because of infarctions. That is what's happening with these drugs. They get interferon, these are all called delayed hypothetical reactions. And they can stop the movement of the axoplasm in the axons. Now the axoplasm is getting accumulated. They will look like a cotton moon spot for me. It's called soft x-rays. When I see cotton spots, of course I don't tell. I have to ask for leading questions that's all. Because there are so many causes for your cotton spot, even your diabetes, hypertension, so many questions are there. They can have cotton spots, the soft x-rays. But most important, I have to look for whether you have consumed interferon or not. So you need to acid. Of course, you have to on all these things. The patient can have some macular involvement. You see now here, the macular area. See now we got, we got one instrument called optical cotton somogram. You can see a cut section of the macula. This is the cut section of retina you can see. See now here, you see this is the normal area of retina. You can see the area here. Straight away I can tell you, 
when you put the question in, no need to dilate it now, just put the question in front of the instrument, you will scan within 5 seconds, you can have the results. I can see now, according to the treatment. This is what nowadays the advancement is there in ophthalmology. Just you see the cut section, please remember, cut section of retina without dilating and you can see all the reports. You can see the entire retina classically. Drugs are getting, everyone knows about the Dambudol. The isonic acid, all these drugs, they can produce optical nerve damage. And when the optical nerve damage, naturally, you cannot see central area because the optical nerve has got the macula of focus maximum. You know, the macula is for central vision. The optical nerve has got 17% of macula focus only. That's why the most important for the visual part. When it is affected, naturally, I can have a central area not go. That means I cannot see properly. And the you know, what is, this? what is happening now? You know, we have got mitochondria. Mitochondria is moving from retina or trying to get down to the retina to my let the genetic body is going up and coming down. It's called exoplasm movement. When this movement is with the mitochondrial problems, the ethanol can affect your mitochondria of the optic nerve. The movement exoplasms. That's why the vision is affected in these cases. You can have it, of course. And some of these patients that can come to us with a phenotype intake and they can have nystagmus. You know the beauty. Phenotype is growing and they drugs. They have been. Now, this other question will see the outside world is moving from me. He will come and tell you. And when you see the nystagmus is starting, the problem here is the difference. Suppose a patient has got nystagmus from since second days. He may not appreciate the outside world moving for him. It will be stationary for him. Whereas in this case, an acquired nystagmus, phenotoid intake, they can have the nystagmus started. The outside world will rotate for him. Naturally, the report, nausea, vomiting, giddiness will fall. That's what is happening with this patient. I have to suppose that he reason answer of nystagmus. Of course, I have to rule out cerebellum or all the problem, brain cell problems all. I have to ask the leading question, are you taking care of you? That's what my question is. And I'm going to learn also blockers. I'm going to blockers. We got damsulosin, uranium, male, patient, prostate, they give this. The beauty, you know, the iris we got simple receptors. They get blocked by this instrument, this is drug. What happened? The iris become classic for me. So when I do cataract surgery, I will have difficulty. I will tear the iris straight away because it's not firm for me. I have to, it should be very firm. That way I can do surgeries. I will tear it and then get the iris will come to me. That is what the most important. When I see a flaccid iris, I must ask, I must know, is it taking something problems? That's why he's a prostate patient. And when I take it for surgery on the table, he will have, he said, very similar, they cannot pass, they have to pass during. And the blood will be full and they will swing. I did not get this surgery, everything will come out of the eyeball. Please look back. When you open the eyeball, everything will come out because of strain. That's why I must ask for leading questions of prostate enlargements. That two particular surgeries before surgery for the elderly male patients. Please know that. So far, I told you so many drugs. There are so many drugs for us. But they can have all complications. But doesn't mean please remember I have to stop the drug. There are some drugs which can continue, nothing wrong. The most important thing is and they never take, they have to solve the drug. There are some things must, for the life purpose. That's what I tell you now. Why advice? Whenever you see a complaint regarding the eye, never forget to ask the leading question of the gain take. Thank you, sir. Camps. Nowadays we don't have camps, sir. All the patients are not brought to the hospital. And then we do that because in camps are not the problem. Screen for this, uh, screen. Screen and different screen. Yes, definitely there is some. Hundreds and thousands and a few mishaps as we are. See, the problem is that when you do camps and those days they are going to schools. The problem was there. Nowadays everything is brought to the base hospital and we again at least again we check them. Again we will see the history there. Then only we do surgeries. We don't take just like that for the surgeries. Not like the old days, that like surgeries that go to schools and they were to conduct in school itself. That's why, sir. It is not like that. It is not like It is changed now. Because of this problem, sir. It's changed. The problem, you know, when they only come to hospital, naturally there are so many doctors, so many assistants, they have to use history. Three of them became blind, sir. That's a problem. Sir, you have talked about the, I mean, blue vision in cylinder. Cylinder, yes, sir. How often you expect you get the... I have seen that it was one only one patient when so far. Is it reversed after stopping? It's reversible. It's completely reversible. Because at the moment, one hour, eight hour problem starts with the fellow. Then it may be lasting for at least half an hour to one hour. It will come down because already the enzyme is coming out. The rod is getting become normal again. 